I think that's the next step and this turned out to be another complete fail uh, the pin that you can see in the picture here just would not engage or release when the bike was on it and it was an absolute nightmare to get in and out so at first I thought maybe it was because the metal on the outside was a bit thin so I made this up with some thicker brackets but it still just wouldn't work, so I had to abandon it, um, much to my disappointment. Right, well after much messing around, we're trying to make, it, make a mechanism that slid up and down in here to change the angle of the bike. As the tailgate went up, the front of the frame went up and it, it used to clear the tailgate by about that much it was a bit ridiculous really he wants to be a bit closer to the tailgate so i was trying to devise a mechanism that that changed the point and it was just becoming really too complicated and it was just not working um in the end i realized that if i wanted to drop down the front of the, the frame closer to the tailgate the simplest solution was to pick up the back of the bike as it went in so I've got a temporary solution which I'll show you in a second. So that left me with just mounting the bike. Well I've come up with this little mechanism here. Well not mechanism, it's just a frame basically. And I'll just shut the tailgate and just show you what happens first of all. So that goes in there like that. Tailgate shuts. Bike drops down. Nice. Close to the tailgate but not touching. And that can be changed at the back. So you can see at the back, I've just simply got some wedges there at the moment. That picks up the back of the bike and drops down the front of the frame. And you're away. So test fit and I'm just having a measure up basically of the wheel height at the back there. And I've got a very technical drawing I'll show you in a second. And basically overhang over the tailgate, it's a little bit more than I'd want. That spacing is not too bad, doesn't stick out too far. Tailgate will come down and it will just cover the screen, although it's all waterproof anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I think I'll probably end up just putting a little bit of a um, like pipe insulation or something on this when I clamp it down, and that will hold everything steady. Um, it's pretty much self centralising anyway. This and everything else seems to work out quite nicely. I've got the frame in as like a test. Mechanism rolls in nicely. So it's just a matter of making uh, the back plate and I'll also make some wheel wedges to fit it in the back there. Other than that, it fits in quite nicely. The other bike I've decided to put right over this side 
and then you're going to have plenty of room in between the two bikes to put whatever, whatever you, you know you want. And we're going to be travelling with the um, with the caravan while we're at it. So these will be our prime, or hopefully our prime transport when we're away. So that's the next project. Is this? And it's going to be a, a single bar running across the back from one side to the other and it's going to fit onto the tie hooks right these two arms I need some nuts on the inside and as it happens they work out exactly the right size so what I'm going to do is going to drill two 10mm holes for the thread axis and then I'm going to drill a hole in one side maybe all the way through so I can just weld it in via the sides right so what I've done is I've set the DRO up on the center point between the two pipes because it's easier just to do two pipes at once um, I've eyeballed um, the Y so all I've got to do is just drill the first hole move it over 20mm because these are 20mm uh, beams move it over 20mm, bosh the other second hole in and, um, and that's it basically alright simples, flip them over and drill, I'm probably going to put an 8mm hole in there let me see how thick a 10 mil nut is. Let me see how thick. Um, that's about 8 mil, so 8 mil hole in there. So the nut's going to slip up on the inside. I've got a nut there, so it will slip up inside the pipe like so. So I'll be able to weld from one side, just capture the nut. That's the idea anyway. Right, I'm going to move this over and set a stop. So I can do the second one. Down, move it back and drill another hole. So these have been welded on. I've now got to set the distance of the overhang and that works out I've got according to my measurements um, 45 mil from the whole center should line up with the back edge of this right okay so got my marks I'll have to clean it up a little bit more So I've got a square and I've squared that off that way, I've squared it off that way and I've set the depth so we're all good to go for a weld on this. So this is the setup for the second leg, and um, obviously the wheel goes in here. So 
the wheels actually comes to about there on each leg. So level this one up, just going to tuck it in place, make sure it's level that way and then weld it on properly. So this is what I was doing in the last clips and it would have worked but the tube is just so thin that pretty much um, I'd done that side or because this is the first side either either it was pretty much until I was getting to the end and I was starting to get it all dialed in and just getting it just right but it's just painfully slow and it looks a mess just not happy with it so you know it'd be all right by the time it was dressed up and everything but it was going to need work and i just wasn't happy with it the tube wall is just so thin i don't even think it's half a mil it really is thin so i abandoned that and i went on the look and i found this old stall um, it's a little bit shallower in height, but it's still sufficient. I've got a nice curve on the front, and if I chop it in half and cut the braces out, I've then got four nice front curves, and I can just put a bar straight down the back, and it'll look good, functional, sturdy bit of tube, so I'm a happy bunny again. So I'm just going to finish cutting this in half, and... Um, then I'm going to cut these braces off. Right, well, there's no point in me um, filming this. I'm just going to chop these off, clean them up. Right, so I've got a length of tube, which I'm going to use for the back part of the frame. So that'll go like that. And I've got it marked up into four, so I'm just going to cut these up. And then we are ready to mount. Now the inside one, because the leg sits on there, I'm probably going to mount it down a little bit on the side, so they're going to be a little bit lower, but that really is going to make no odds whatsoever. So as usual, I'm winging it, but I'm winging it just a little bit. So, four bits of metal for the upright, cut the length, and these are going to get welded on there like that. That creates the upright, probably on the edge actually, alternating. So, welding's the next job, and then these are going to get welded onto the frame.
Right, sounds a bit tighter than it needs to be because this one pulled over a little bit. I can pull that back, but the gap's good. <laughs> 